Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about a stage file zip file operation. So why we are using zip file operation and how we can use everything in this video we will learn. So friend, there are some times when we requirement that we have to create zip file of different different files and we have to save that zip file over email or we need to save the file over uh, over the say, SFTP server anywhere. So at the time we required a stage file zip file operation so that we can create the file of the data. So let's begin. So here you can see I have already created one integration where we added request payload. Whatever data we are receiving request payload, we added the loop over that. So here you can see what kind of data we are passing. So this is the employee data we are passing as a request payload and the employee data having the domain. So different, different domains. You can see the domain is software developer, software development and the technical consultant, technical consultant and we have associate consultant, senior consultant and the cloud consultant. So what we have done, we added the logic that if domain is software engineer, here you can see. If the domain is software development, then create file with this name. So here you can see we are creating the file and we given the name as software development.csv and the location of the file is slash temp. And again, if we, we check if the domain is technical consultant, then we are creating another file and the same file we placed over the temp directory and having the name as technical consultant.csv. And in last, we added otherwise. So in otherwise, whatever will be different domain, all the domain will be merged in this file. And this file will be given the name as other employee.csv and the same, all the files are located in the temp directory only. So now what we have to do, do, do once the file processing completed, once all file created, we have to create a zip file and we need to place this zip file over SFTP server or we have to place this zip, zip file over email. So how we can do that one? So for creating the zip file of the all the stage file, we require zip file operation. So here in the previous video, we have used a list file to show all the files. So I don't want to check the list. So I will delete here. And now we have to create the zip file. So I will drag the stage operation, a stage file here. And here a stage file, we have to provide the name. So I will use named zip underscore stage next. And here you can see we have to select operation as zip file. And once we selected the operation as zip file, what we need to do next? The next we have to provide the zip file name. So I'm just going to give name as something like that here. We will use concat employee file underscore and why to concatenate the instance ID. So instance ID we cannot concatenate here in the generation theory because in the generation three instance ID is like very large as a string value. So instead of that, I will concatenate the date. So here we will use current date here. You can see we have current date time. So instead of that, I will use current date here. You can see we have current date. So I will drag this current date here. And the last file name will be employee underscore current date dot CSV. So again, we have to merge here dot zip, sorry, dot so here we have given the name. So we are done with the name that employee in the file underscore date dot zip file. And here we have to specify the directory where we have to create the zip file. So a stage file with the help of a stage file, we can create file only in OIC virtual directory. So this will be the name. So I will give the name as zip. So we create, we are going to create this employee zip file inside the, and inside the temporary directory of Oracle integration that is zip. And what will be the file name we have to merge? So here you can see, sorry, this is the specify the directory to zip and specify the output directory. So here this will be the output directory. Output directory and here this directory will be from where we have to make a zip file, where we have to pick the file. So if you will see all the file we created in the temp directory only. You can see this is a temp directory where we created the file in the previous step, the inside the loop. So in this temp directory, all the file, whatever file we present, it will take the file and it will create a zip file with this name and we will provide the zip file in the zip directory. You can see, specify the output directory, output directory where we have to place the file, specify the directory to zip from where we have to get the file to zip and what will be the file name here. We provided the file name as employee CSV. Now we have to move next and done.
So we are done with adding the zip file operation. Now we have to save. So once zip file will be created, I want to return back the zip file name to the as an integration response. So here in the response, I have already added the status as success and the file name will be zip file name. So here you can see zip stage. This is our zip stage. So I will extend this here. And here you can see ICS file. We have this file reference. So I will instead of file reference, I have to give the name. I will select the file name. So I will map this file name here. File name here. Now we have mapped the zip file name in the integration response. And after that, what we have to do, suppose we want to place this zip file over SFTP server. So we have already created, we have already created zip stage for FTP connections. So I will drag this FTP connection here. And here we have to give the name. Write zip underscore stage, uh, sorry, FTP. And next, here we have to select operation as write so that we can place the file. And here we have to provide the file name. So the directory where we have to place the file. So suppose this is our FTP directory. And here, suppose let me create one folder that zip files. And here in the zip file, we have to place the zip file. So I will just copy the file here directory and file pattern. So we have already created the zip file. So we will map this file here. So for the, as you can see, this is the mandatory to provide value here. So I will just provide X value and in the mapping, we will provide the actual file reference. So now next you can see it's asking that we need to provide the schema or the no. So as we know that we know that we have zip file and zip file doesn't have any schema. So we will select no so that we can provide the file reference and done. So we added the FTP endpoint to place file over servers and we have to provide the file here. In the mapping, you can see. So here you can see we have to provide the file name. What kind of file name we will have while placing the file over server and what is the directory. So directory we have already provided and what file we have to place. This is the file reference. So we have the file zip file. So we will get the zip file reference from here. File reference we will map here and here directory. The directory we have already mapped while configuration file name, we will get file name from the zip file here you can see. So now what it will do, it will take this zip file with the help of this reference, will, it will provide the name of the same as the zip file name and place over this a specific directory. Validate. And go back. So we successfully created an integration where we will pass some value as a request payload. Based on that value, it will iterate the loop. And based on the data as a domain data, it will create different, different files and all the file will be zip here. And then we move the zip file over FTP server. Now we have to save. Everything is done. We will move back and activate this integration. So here I will use debug activate. Now here it will take some time to activate. Once this will be activated, we will be able to run the integration. So we are just waiting for a while. It will take a little bit of time to activate. So integration is activated now. We will run the integration. So here just go to run. In the request payload, we have to provide some values. So in body, you can see we have some values already as we provided the request payload. So I will just copy this value. As we have some more records here. And we will click on runs. So once we will pass based on this record, integration will iterate the loop. It will generate the file and the file will be placed over SFTP server and whatever will be the file name, it will return back as response. You can see we got the response as employee file 2023.8.14z.zip and the same file we can send over, check over the SFTP server. So here you can see we got the file. This is a zip file. If I will open the zip file here, let me download the zip file first. We downloaded the zip file. In OIC content, let me open the zip file. And here you can see. Here we downloaded excellent file folder. Okay. Here you can see we downloaded zip file. Once we will open this zip file, you can see we have three different different files. And all these three files having different different data. So once we will open the technical consultant, 
you can see in the technical consultants file, we will have only the record having the technical consultant as a domain. You can see the two records, Sanjay Rawat and the Mukesh Lal having the value take as a technical consultant here. And after that, we have software development. Once we will click here, you can see we created, we, the, it created two records having the software engineer as Ajay Kumar and Suraj Kumar as a software development. And again, we have another file that is other employee.csv. Once we will expand that other employee, you can see we have various records, even three records. The Dabiran Srevag as an associate consultant, Rahul Dravid as a senior consultant, and Manoj Tiwari as a cloud consultant. So as the same data we pass as a request payload, you can see. So this is the way we can create zip file in Oracle integration, and we can place the zip file over server, and we can do various operations, whatever operations we require. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can make a comment on that. Thank you so much again.